Did she betray one of her friends? This is the question that is being asked of Kotsuka of Nidisanji. This is all a rat going around. This is all rumors, of course. Take this with your tinfoil hat. But this is a question that is being asked, and I wanted to see if we can find an answer somewhere. At least something to get an idea of what's going on. The questions came to my attention when I started looking through some things and people were kind of reminding me of things that Kotoka had said in the past. Kotoka was also a apparently a friend of Yozora Mel of Hololive and also previously a friend of Sayu. And uh, she had mentioned things about Sayu herself. She had mentioned things like uh, that she couldn't really say goodbye to Sayu. She couldn't really wish her well. That was a weird way of saying certain words. And it had gotten some people's brains starting to, you know, think about things, think about what's going on, think about is there a question mark in there since they, she didn't treat uh, Sayu or Zion well in the past when they were gen mates, which is a really close, at least it's supposed to be close, at least in Hollow Live they tend to be close. Uh, it would brought questions of maybe any kind of loyalty. Or anything like that that she may have uh, not been so great with then she may have just been the type of person maybe to just spout out what others had mentioned to her or something of that sort maybe she not, is not the most reliable narrator other questions like that were popping up in my searches and i just wanted to get into the nitty-gritty of this whole thing one of the main parts that people were mentioning is that sayu at some point had mentioned about what happened with all of them. Now here's where we get into the nitty-gritty of the whole thing. We're getting into uh, Zion or Sayu as she knows now, Sayu Synchronicity, talking about, I believe it was about four months ago, about the situation that happened when she was let go, how her gen mates had treated her, how specifically Kotoka, who we're talking about today, had treated her, whether it was a negative way, whether it was, you know, the way that a lot of people uh, would think as being a cold and cold-hearted type of individual. For some people, this is their normal. This is their uh, just normal way of being, uh, kind of a bit colder, standoffish, that type of thing. It could be related to that, or it could be that just, you know, Kotoka kind of didn't actually care enough about Sayu. We don't know. We're not in her head. We're not in Sayu's head. We are getting the information from Sayu. Some people say that might be too much. But here we go. They were allowed to at least not shit. You know, Kotoka said that she couldn't even wish her well. She couldn't even wish Zion well. Like, on stream is what she said. That is really mean. That is beyond what a normal person, I think, would be, at the very least, in a public way. In a public send-off. Even if the person was terminated, as the gen mates, you would try to at least be kind enough to say, you know, I wish them well. I wish that they continue in their endeavors. I'm not going to continue with them. I'm not going to contact them. You can say things like that. You can say, I'm not going to contact them. I'm not going to have anything to do with them, uh, but I wish them well. For example, there's, you know, uh, the Yozara Mel thing that happened. A lot of her gen mates wished her well, even though she broke NDA. Rusha, same thing. A lot of people wished her well, even though she broke NDA. They were being kind enough to at least not be vindictive, at least not be negative while they were letting go of a gen mate. Uh, any other people that I've seen, whether they've been graduated or anything like that on another organization like Hololive, they wish them well. They say, you know, they wish that they hadn't done the things that they did. They wish that there had not been an NDA breach, but they wish them well. I saw her in person and became friends with her in private before we were ever we ever had anything to do with each other i went out of my way to meet up and tell and teach her secrets and tell her things before you know before the debut that just really i loved i actually loved her a lot i saw her as one of my best you know and that's the thing uh sometimes people that you see as best friends can kind of turn on you and it's not so much about the sayu thing with kotoka it's just kind of giving you an idea of maybe some of the personality traits that kotoka has maybe she's a little bit colder etc and that leads us to what had recently happened. This is what had recently happened that people had mentioned that Mel, Yozara Mel, and the past life of Yozara Mel, when she graduated, they ended up just getting rid of any kind of followings that they had of Kotoka. Now, this could be seen as just a business move of making sure that her friend is no longer in the crossfires. Her friend is not seen as the traitor, the Judas, or whatever you want to call it. It could have been kind of trying to insulate the person so that is one way that it can be seen i'm trying to show you all sides of course i don't want it to seem like i'm a kotaka hater or, or a just trying to stir up shit well some people will still say that about me they're saying they still say that i'm stirring up stuff and that is their right of course but i'm just trying to see it from every angle some people could see it as that business angle like i said other people could see it as she's trying to distance herself from someone who had maybe mistreated her in the past maybe had 
you know, actually let out the secrets that she had been confided with. It could have been very simple and very innocent in the sense that I do know that there are people who kind of blab without the intention of hurting someone else. They kind of just are excited about knowing certain things. And because they are in the same community, they are in the same business, they are in the same, basically they're competitors in this case, but they were friends at some point. Uh, they could be like, oh, you know, that, you know, Blah, blah, blah told me that, it, you know, Hololive also has the same type of issues that we do. Blah, blah, blah also told me that Hololive also, you don't know, have to wait for this kind of stuff. Remember how we were complaining about that? Kind of, kind of that type of commiseration going on with the whole situation. Again, this can be seen as an extreme stretch. And I'm just taking a look at every single angle that could possibly be true. Uh, once again, this is a rat. This is a rumor. This is people taking and plucking things out of the ether to try to see if something's happening but i'm seeing this story develop little by little and i kind of want to give people that had been asking me to cover this and had been asking me to show my opinion on how this is i think right now it is still a rumor it is still something that is unsubstantiated it is a very coincidence coincidental thing it could very well much be just that she is trying to distance herself from that person because they're trying to protect that person that is a very valid and very normal thing to do among friends but let's see what some people inside of the nidhi sanji uh subreddit are saying it says difference in company values venting with hollow mems is safe because they're actually friends beyond actually breaking nda anyways venting with nidhi livers where they treat each other as competition is definitely not safe the op says the person who actually wrote this thing says definitely not safe it's a snake test zion mentioned how disappointed she was at kotoka and finana for backstabbing they met IRL, had a good time. She thought of them as friends, but to score Niji points, they pretty much backstabbed her and smeared her. This is basically going with, oh, she's done this in the past, so she, it may be something that goes in the future. Of course, uh, correlation does not equal causation, I believe, or something like that. Or causation does not equal correlation, one of those things. Basically, past things like this, just because they seem similar, does not mean that the person is actually doing what they are accused of. And of course, it continues. Let's be honest. At the end of the day, most of the people who join corporations are the ones who would gladly give up a lot of things to either get popular or successful. It's a good opportunity. Yeah, but also means that you give up a lot of, con of control over your stuff, which is very true. I'm honestly impressed that Hololive are actual friends. If they really are. I hope they are. But I can't help but brush off the feeling that they are like those K-pop or J-pop groups that sure enough, they don't hate each other, but they aren't exactly super close with each other. And that's the thing. Of course, I mentioned Hololive before. Hololive's generation seem to be closer. They seem to at least have that outward appearance of liking each other and outward appearance of being close to each other and close in the sense of being with their genmates and enjoying their company, enjoying their time, enjoying all of that. And that is something that maybe happens within Niji Sanji. Maybe some people are a better fit for others when it comes to the genmates. I'm not going to, you know, because I don't know all the information on that. I'm not going to comment on that very much. But I have seen that there are uh, situations where someone gets, you know, bigger, etc. They are either backstabbed themselves or they, they're the ones doing the Judas. It does happen, unfortunately. And again, because I like showing all sides, I'm going to go here to this one specifically. I chose this one because it kind of gives good clues as to uh, how things are going in the community. It says, some say they never followed each other in the first place, but others say yes. I honestly don't know who to believe. What I do believe is that Mel, Rika, at the moment, doesn't want to relate to Kotoka in this specific case. Maybe in the future, but who knows? And leave the past behind. What I do look forward to more is a collaboration with Kaysan and other people, basically. I also think Sayo's recent statement way more in knowing how Kotoka as a friend IRL than all the drama with Mel, unless they are more consistent statements, it's just my opinion. Basically saying that, yes, uh, they're not, no one is 100% sure. This is just the rumor that's been going around. Um, and that, yes, uh, people sometimes unfollow, like I mentioned before. They unfollow in order to protect friends. They may unfollow in order to leave the past behind and start a new leaf. I have done that before in the sense of um, starting a new leaf, starting a new uh, anything that I've been doing. And I understand that people are the type that to do that too. And if they are, that's not anything against them. It's not them trying to dispose of people in the past. It's just they want to start a whole new chapter. And I respect that. If it's what Mel wants to do, I respect that. Uh, I don't want to attribute any malice to what Mel was doing. But uh, as I said, Kotoka, from what other people have mentioned, the one other person that I put in here has mentioned, they are less reliable as a friend, at least it seems like. 
that's just the rumor that's going around. That's, I'm just letting you guys know it because I have been requested of this, of my opinion has been requested, and I'm just letting you know. And that is all I'm going to say on that matter. Of course, like I have to mention again, I'm going to mention it so many times because I don't want someone in the comments saying, oh my God, why did you bring this out? You know, it's just a rumor, blah, blah, blah. It is a rumor. Uh, these things do need to be talked about in a more objective and a more uh, even tone because a lot of things have been pushed towards one direction or another. A lot of things have been assumed. A lot of things have been uh, kind of hate has been pushed towards Kotoka. Hate and actual uh, seems like her, people are pushing for harassment because they see her as a traitor, as a Judas, as whatever. I just see that there are possibilities that that happened. I can't really tell if they did or did not happen uh, because I'm not in Kotoka's shoes. I'm not in Mel's shoes. So I don't want to prescribe malice into what can just be seen as just a little squabble or a misunderstanding or just anything of that sort. I do not want people to all of a sudden start going and hating Kotoka for things that she may not have done this time. Uh, you can dislike her for what she did to Sayu. You can dislike her for what she did there and the Judas side of that if you want to do that. But don't prescribe any kind of malice to what she's may or may not have done she may not even have known anything that mel was saying it may have been someone else totally who did that that is the kind of points that i want to point out to each and every one of you i hope you enjoyed this of course comment down below if you so choose my discord and all the other social media are down below as well i appreciate you this is another video that you can see right in front of you that you might be interested in thank you so much have a wonderful day Bye bye